welcome back everyone so these days many people are switching to latex operating system from the windows with different reason like some say they switch to linux because it's more secure some say linux has less problem as compared to windows and many say linux is much faster than windows so if you're also planning to switch to linux then you must know some of their major pros and cons before switching and that's what i will be trying to cover in this video and in case if you have decided to go with linux you might also come with a question that which Linux distro is the best and that I will answer later in this video. So first let us start with some pros of the Linux and it's an open source and free to install and even its apps are free to use and you can use Linux distros on all type of software like even on the older devices where it will work much faster. Next, Linux is more secure than the Windows as system is open source, the global Linux community keep an eye on it. It's free to use and keep you secure even in the free version and of course fast, more responsive with less problem. So that sounds good because the Linux of course is more secure, faster and even work better on the low end devices. And now let's see that what exactly are the cons of the Linux for the Windows user. Now I'm not telling you the cons of the Linux operating system. This con is only for the people who are trying to switch from Windows to Linux. Number one. Linux is not Windows. So that's what you have to keep in your mind first. And Linux use a different extension as compared to Windows like ext4, btrfs and xfs. So if you want to enjoy the gaming, games like that are based on Windows, then you must not switch to Linux because many people claim that you would be able to run the uh, Windows game on the Linux operating system. But I found that really hard and it's not possible for each and every user. Even if you want to continue using many Windows applications like Microsoft Office, then also you should not switch to Linux until you are ready to switch to other kind of Office version like LibreOffice. Because you will have a lot of difficulties installing and using the MS Office on the Linux based operating system. However, there are some kind of options like uh, you can use Wine and other application that can help you to install Windows application game. But I personally tested it and majority of them doesn't work and even create a problem. So somehow if you are able to install the Windows application or game, you will have a lot of problem because they are basically not meant for the Linux. So these are the basic point guys because majority of the people switch to uh, Linux because of the less problem, because it's more secure, it's more faster. But again, you also need to keep in your mind that what exactly you do on your computer so if you switch to linux and you are thinking of enjoying the gaming as the same way you are doing on the windows then probably that can be hard for you again not only game but also many kind of application it can be really hard for you to enjoy on the linux operating system especially that are based on windows operating system so it's my personal recommendation if you really want to switch to linux because of course the linux is a very good operating system but there are a few things that i would recommend you to keep in mind before switching to linux operating system from the windows operating system number one you must learn the linux first properly using a virtual machine and you can see that right now i'm also using a virtual machine and inside it i have installed the ubuntu operating system so these days i'm also learning linux because some way I think that I should know more about the Linux operating system. But before switching to it, I think I have to use it at least for 6 or 7 months. So you can take the help of the virtual machine. I have already created a video that how you can install a Linux operating system on a virtual machine on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Install it. Try to do all kind of work that you do on the Windows like navigation, check all kind of game, how the application run, connecting hardware like printer and other operating system. Check how the data transfer work between the other devices because this is another common task that majority of the people do on their PC and laptop. Similarly, you can check that how the data backup work and how frequently it create any kind of problem and how you have to resolve it. So these are the basic things that you have to keep in your mind. And this is especially for the people who are used to Windows and are not that tech savvy and want to switch to Linux. So you must go ahead and first learn about the Linux test it and after that only you should switch to linux 
and now the people who are already tech savvy they think that they can easily manage it so it's all up to you you can go ahead and enjoy any best uh, distro the one that i recommend you the most you can go with the ubuntu you can go with the zorin os even you can go with the linux mint and these are the best distros i found now many people recommend many other operating system of the linux and it all depend on your taste which distro you like the most now my personal recommendation i gave you you can go with the zorin ubuntu or the linux mint so that's all guys for today and i believe i tried to cover each and everything but still if i missed anything please let me know in the comment section even let me know that what basically you think about switching to a linux from the windows operating system and if you found this information useful make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye